Hello everyone. In this video, we will be changing a general form of a quadratic equation to its equivalent vertex form or graphing form by completing the square. And this is the second part. In this part, the value for A that we have here is greater than 1. Please remember that this is the general form of a quadratic equation and this is the graphing form of a quadratic equation. So what are we going to do is we are given this general form and we're supposed to change it to its vertex or graphing form where our h and k is the vertex. So let's have an example to better see how can we change a general form to its equivalent graphing or vertex form. <laughs> Let's take this first example right here. Change the given general form of a quadratic equation to its equivalent graphing or vertex form. So what are we going to do first here is that we are supposed to put the constant on the other side. So the constant that we have here is 43. So I'm going to subtract 43 from both sides. So that would be a minus 43. So then we can go ahead and say that the equation would come out y minus 43 equals 3x squared minus 24x because this one has already been crossed out. Now, what are we going to do next is that we are supposed to, uh, in order that we can complete the square, we are supposed to have just x by itself, but there's a value of 3 right here. So we're going to factor this side. So that would come out y minus 43 equals 3 is the common factor. So I'm going to put the 3 outside the parentheses. Then I'm going to have x squared minus, to, uh, that's going to be 24. So, but then that's 3 right here. So we're going to do the distributive backwards. So this one has to be 8x. So that if we... Um, Distribute the 3 to each of the terms inside the parentheses. That's 3 times x squared is 3x squared. And if we have 3 times negative 8x is negative 24x. Now we are supposed to uh, change this to its perfect square trinomial by completing the square. So what are we going to do is we will add blanks to each side. So that would be y minus 43 plus blank is equal to 3 parentheses x squared minus 8x plus blank. Now, what do we put or what number do we put into this blank? So here's a trick. We are supposed to look at the uh, middle term here, which is negative 8x. So I'm going to have uh, just the coefficient. So that is negative 8. What we do is we divide this by 2. So I'm just going to uh, write that down here. Whatever that coefficient here, we divide it by 2. So then that becomes negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. The next thing that we are going to do after we divided it by 2, we are supposed to square it. So I'm just going to put that down here. So square whatever is the uh, quotient of this 2 right here. So we square it. That would be um, negative 4. And then square it. So negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. And this 16 is the number that we put into the blank. So I'm going to write 16 right here. Now notice that this 16 was actually multiplied by 3. Remember, this is you, if we use the distributive uh, property right here. Uh, for each of these terms here, that would be 3 times 16, which means that on the other side, to make it even, I mean, we're going to add 48 to both sides. Since if we multiply 3 times 16 is 48, so I'm adding 48 on this side right here. So that we can go ahead and simplify this, I'm going to show the work on the other um, side right here. So this equation would come out. So I'm just going to rewrite this up here. So that's why simplifying these two terms right here, negative 43 plus 48 is a positive 5. So I'm just going to write y plus 5 is equal to 3. Then that is x squared minus 8x plus 16. Now notice that this one is a perfect square trinomial. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this as y plus 5 is equal to 3. And then if we are going to use the... Um, 
box and diamond for this, we should be able to factor this out as x minus 4 and x minus 4. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that as x minus 4 squared. So if we multiply x minus 4 times x minus 4, we use the area model, it will come out x squared minus 8x plus 16. I will give you a trick on the fastest way to determine what to write on this. So what are we going to do is we just write x and whatever this number that we got here is the one that we pair up with x. Since this is a negative 4, so I'm just going to go ahead and write x minus 4. So it is on this number right here, whatever this number is, you pair it up with x. So that we want to have y by itself here. So then we go ahead and subtract um, 5 from both sides, minus 5 here. So we can cross the 5 out. So we are left with y is equal to 3x minus 4 squared minus 5. And this is the equivalent vertex form or graphing form of this equation that we have right here. So that we can go ahead and say that our vertex for this graph is, or for this uh, graph right here, would be um, 4, negative 5. Because remember, we switch and keep. So switch the negative 4, it comes out positive 4. We keep the minus 5 or the negative 5, that would be a negative 5. So this is our vertex. On the side, you will see the Desmos version of this two graphs right here. We can see that both this graph and this equivalent graphing form are just the same. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So first, we are going to subtract the constant here. So that would be minus 53 from both sides, minus 53. So this would come out, we, we can cross the 53 out. So we are left with y minus 53 equals 2x squared plus 20x. So then again, we remember that we we need to have just x by itself. So we factor out the 2 since 2 is the common factor. So that we can go ahead and rewrite this as y minus 53 is equal to 2 parentheses x squared. And then that's going to be plus 10x. So that if we use the distributive property on this, 2 times x squared is 2x squared, 2 times 10x is 20x. Again, we are going to change this to its perfect square trinomial by completing the square so that we're going to add uh, blanks to both sides. So that's going to be y minus 53 plus blank is equal to 2 parentheses x squared plus 10x plus blank. Now we are going to determine what to write on the blank. We remember that whatever this coefficient in the middle right here, which is the b, we are going to divide this by 2 every time. So divide by 2. So that would come out 10 divided by 2 is 5. And then after we got the 5, we are supposed to square it. So I'm just going to show the work on the side right here. Okay, so this 25 is the number that we put into the blank. So I'm just going to write 25 here. Now, please remember that this 25 is multiplied by 2 so that we are adding 50 on the other side and not 25 to make them even. So this would be 50 right here because, again, we use the distributive property. 2 times 25 is 50. So to make them even, we're adding 50 on the other side so that we go ahead and um, simplify this. We, I'm just going to show the work on the side right here. So that would be y, that's negative 53 plus 50 is negative 3. So it's going to be y minus 3 equals 2 parentheses x squared plus 10x plus 25. So that we go ahead and simplify this. Again, we can um, use the box and diamond to get the factors for this but i give you a trick on how to do it so that would be y minus 3 equals 2 parenthesis x 
x, whatever this number is, that's the one that you put with the x. So that's going to be plus 5 and then square it. And so we wanted y by itself on the left side. So we're adding 3 to both sides plus 3 so that we can cross the 3 out. We are left with y is equal to 2 times x plus 5 squared plus 3. So this is the graphing form or the vertex form for this quadratic equation that we have right there. Just by looking at this, we can go ahead and say that the vertex for this graph is negative 5, 3. Please remember, we switch, that's a positive 5, so I put a negative 5. And then we keep, that's a positive 3. So this is the vertex for this uh, graph of these two um, equations that we have right here. On the side, you will see the Desmos version of this um, graph. You can see that both the graphing form and the um, general form match up. That means they're on top of each other. That means they are equivalent. Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah! Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.